notice two things in this room. One, the windows broke. That was reboarded up. There's screws in the window frame there. Second, why the hell was the person screwed or locked in here? There's a door there, and then there's this fixed door. Why? On the outside, so they can't get out. What's that smell in there? are literally all bagged up like they was trying to get out really fast. It just makes me wonder like even if the parents did something, how do you explain to your children, we need to go, mummy, daddy, you know, where's, I want to take my stuff, no, we need to go, go. Yo, what's up, explorers? So, we've just literally landed. We've landed, we flew in. Um, no, we didn't really. We're not in the DeLorean, we're in the DeLorean Golf. She's a time traveler, this car. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of you would have seen this video, and hopefully you haven't switched off from the start of the video. Um, we've looked in a little bit of this place, and we don't want to say too much yet, but when we get in there, Hopefully it makes sense of what we think's actually gone on in here. So yeah, we're gonna head in. You ready, bro? I'm ready, you ready? I jump. You jump. Let's go. Is it Rover? Yeah, I so. so guys, yeah, heading out. Putting the links below. Heading to the mansion, we've just seen this car. Putting the links below, what you think, what car is this? What car do you think? I've been going by that wheel. That's like a jag wheel. It's either a Jaguar or a Rover. I think that's a Jaguar will do. I think this has got to be it, bro. Look at all this land, guys. Back in this house. It's got to be here. Watch your ghoulies. Watch your ghoulies. Uh, just check here as well. Did you make a check? Let's hope no dog walkers come by. I know there's a lot of buildings on it. Don't fill a brick. <laughs> Limbo. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, are you ready? I'm ready. Bro, are you ready? It's a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. what nature does bro she takes back but you think in the daytime yeah in the evening sitting out here chilling out little light on in a lovely little summer house and in this area guys you're probably talking a few million just for this house <laughs> so we don't really know the story of this place yet, but you can tell, look at the football goal. 
know what I've seen in other videos though. I think it looks a bit Spanish to us. Yeah. It's got a bit of a Mediterranean feel this house. I think we should just go for the goal, get in cobweb, and then we come out. so sad when you see um, where kids once played. Go swing from the chandelier. It's like a ghost town, guys. A place that sits completely abandoned now. That is absolutely beautiful. Do you know what I was thinking, dog? Climbing up the climbing frame quick. So we just arrived at this huge, it's got a massive Mediterranean feel. It, does, it? it definitely has. So maybe the family were from a Mediterranean country. There's so many bits out here though. There's a, <laughs> Mark's left his toy there. We've got a, like a sailor type hat, maybe role play. <laughs> Look at this mansion though, it's incredible. Oh, even the little crocodile got left outside. Uh, beautiful lamps. I think this house was pretty much designed how they wanted it. Maybe they had it built in the 90s or the 80s. You can see a little kid's bike, maybe grandchildren. Yeah, the little patio with the pond. And when you see the kids' toys, I mean, this was how the other kid, the other wife lived. Maybe the barber would have something inside. Sort of like a barbecue area. So, literally. We came straight through the pack door. It's completely open. It's amazing how this area, it's so beautiful. It's so expensive. And then there's mansions living like this. And I keep saying to Mark, the amount of times we know friends that are becoming homeless, living in his own van, one of our friends, Paul. Yeah. You know, a really good friend of ours. And then there's mansions that are lift, left like this. What's going on? You know, this should be reused, reclaimed, I don't know, but yeah, let's get on with the explore. I'm really looking forward to this. So we decided to take a left through the first door. Now a lot of people have seen this mansion, but let me tell you one thing, you haven't seen our version. <laughs> and it's amazing to see that we're here, Mark, literally right, what, a week before Christmas? It's Christmas cards. Yeah, I was just about to say, I wonder if they left Christmas time. You think this family were literally here. Let's have a look. To Rory from Tasman. The date on this paper. Rory. It's 2012. Elaine. So Elaine and Rory I'm getting that were living here. 2012 on the paper. You know what, though? From the outside looking at this house, though, it's like a nice Mediterranean. I can't say it. You say it, though. Like Meda. Mediterranean. I'm stuck like that with words. Mediterranean. Well, not normally. Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Try it. Mediterranean. <laughs> so that this is just like a dining room, living area. I mean, how beautiful this place is. Yeah, but you can imagine like when this place was all set up, the family were here. I'm not even going to read. Oh. I don't know. Something just fell down over there. 
investment focused funds reporting. We may make an effort contact the details up to date wrong anyway. This is work that was done on the property in 2004. But also notice there's a debt letter there as well, so maybe they got evicted, like who knows, but why leave this place for so long? 2012, it's, it's, that's nice, isn't it? But even if his family passed away, or even if they didn't pass away, you think his family, maybe were there, huh? Nothing. Maybe were forced out. Oh, yeah, no oh wow, look at this. But then there's games as well, you know, like PS3 games. Definitely into soccer. A little Spectre. David, you're English, it's football. <laughs> Sorry? It's football for you. Oh, I had all the games. And that is maybe a family photo here. We've got loads of DVDs. Or maybe the grandkids, one of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it just happens, bro. We just got here a bit too late. We've known about this for so long. Do you know what it reminds Blame me of, Dave? Blame me. What's that? Hiya, Barbie. <laughs> Hi, Ken. You want to go for a ride? Sure. Let's jump in. <laughs> okay. I'm a Barbie girl. Oh, that one's got 2015 on it. Is it really? Yeah. So even six years on this place, it's like deteriorated so much. There's so many letters here as well, but I don't want to sit there and read through because of the uh, addresses and stuff. But it's still a cool house, no. dude. It's blood. It's not. I thought it was blood. No, it is a wicked little house. I'd like it. All the lambs. It's definitely a very organised family, though, in some ways. And there's all court letters there. It says courts. Eastern Electricity Hospital. Mark? Oh, she knew that time. <laughs> Bro, I kept sure. ruining stuff all the time, man. I wish we were in a situation where we could. Save yeah, man. Stuff. All the DVDs. I still like the film House of Wax. You're Connie. <laughs> Barney. Barney. I thought it was Barbie. <laughs> Cold Mountain. Pretty good film. The Damn United, I've not seen that. Far from home. We're pretty far from home. Yeah. Dude, let's carry on. Take me further, let's go. I wonder if that's a wig on the floor, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think who, who was I at the um, brothel house. Oh, um. <laughs> I was going to say, she's in this house. What's her name, Sheila? No. Yeah, it might have been Sheila. So guys, if you watch our channel, who was Mark in one of the videos when he popped his head out of a blonde wig on? Put in the comments below and let us know. Yeah, literally we've seen an uh, adult toy there. I'm not talking of a toothbrush. Yeah. But it vibrates the same. We've seen this room as well, but I don't know what was going on with this room. It's sad, isn't it, to see so many like... This is like the loft area they've used. So I've got new lights, so hopefully you won't hear any buzzing noises in this video. The amount of stuff that's accumulated in this building. Yeah, we could sit here for hours just like rummaging through, but it's kind of not what we do. And sometimes it's it's very hard sometimes to work out a story on a building as well. And on this place, we don't really know anything on this. No. Apart from a Rory and a Lane. Shall we look through the it's kitchen? The bathroom and... I don't know if I'm looking around here. No, we're in fire. What about that? Can you see the... You're disgusting. What's up? You and your backside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrible, guys. And if anyone what comes in, they're going to know we're in here. Stinks. So just coming out the main hall. It's another like sitting area, so maybe for the kids, like a little gaming room, or you know, they maybe had a TV in and the kids chill out in here. Or it could have been a getaway for the parents, who knows, or the grandkids. Into this kitchen, the size of this kitchen, guys. It's quite nice, actually. It is very nice. Loving these massive double stove. Should I break it? 
and it's sort of yanked forward. Shall I so, a bit though? Sorry? Shall I bring a bit? Can't be, can't be worse than your backside, bro. What's all that? Guys, can you please put the description? <coughs> Mark never learns opening the fridges. Oh my god. <laughs> it's no look, look at it. Look at this It's making me cough. It's making me cough, dude. Oh, it just shows you like, oh, how long things that. have been here. I noticed Kaylee the other day in her video, she picked that up. It is a pretty cool Deserano bottle, actually. Deserano. Yeah, it is. Someone's obviously poured that in. It can't be the last owner's drink. Oh. It's so weird. I'm guessing these are like grandkids because, you know. That's I mean, so evil. This is Francis. This is a, a girl, uh, someone called Francis, so. Well, watch out. If you're brave it. <laughs> And this is 2018, so you know it just makes you wonder how long this place has really been abandoned. It's weird, isn't it? I'm shocked. Is that no, like bright on your eyes? No, I'm loving this cooker though, guys. I'm just so shocked to learn how much is left. It's incredible. Loving these old style like country sort of kitchen. Everyone's here like some perfume there or something. Kitchen, in the kitchen, sorry. There's bits and pieces in the drawer. I don't really like going through stuff in <laughs> the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> so what we got what we got for drinks, dude? We've got Crux, whatever that is, and Tia Maria, what are you fancying? Cup of tea. <laughs> Cup of tea, says Pete. Guys, look at all that. What it's like that? mold and stuff building up. That's messy. We should even open that, bro. Let's go. Pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Don't even breathe it, it's bad. So it's coming out of the kitchen into like another little kitchen, like a pantry or. Yeah, a little pantry, I'd say maybe. Oh, I've got another oven. It's literally like this family have completely vanished. What is going on? We're yeah, seeing pictures for grandkids or children. I definitely get a feel, a vibe that it was around Christmas they maybe left. Just because you're like. Yeah, but what Christmas happened? Why would they leave Christmas? Why? Um, or just after Christmas? Yeah, no, if you see a deck letter, maybe that's why. Actually, I think that's what did happen, didn't he? He got into debt and done one. What, like money laundering? No, not like, I don't think that. But so laundry room, guys, like, even the clothes are still here, like, they were trying to bag it up as quick as they can to get out. Let's carry black bags down there, full of clothing, right there. I ain't gonna lie, though, you don't really smell that nice in here either. Nah. Sure. What is that smell? It smells like something's died. I mean, look at this. Yeah, God. This looks like, you know, they're trying to rush out quick. It's right, man. Guys, their clothes are literally all bagged up like they was trying to get out really fast. You know, they've tried doing a midnight spree, maybe. Oh, God. I mean, look at this. They had enough beer in here to sell to the shops. Look at the wine sitting on the racks at the back. Dude, this is bigger than my whole downstairs, this room. Hey? But I suppose you've got to ask this big... Sorry, my life, right, in I it. keep forgetting in your face. I've only got it on 25, so it shouldn't be too bright for your little eyes. We've got white mold, man. I mean, we've got some Grenadian... Uh, grenade... <laughs> I can't even say my thing now. We've got some green curry here. We've got some Napoleon. Su Southern Comfort. Wait, I didn't even want to touch some of this. It's rotten. No. The mould in it. Look at the white mould everywhere. This is damp. Yeah, but then this stuff's got 2011 on it. It doesn't make no sense on the face, does it? And some sardines. Oh, oh don't open them. Cape white. No, they've already been opened. No, look at this. Oh, wow. Look, it's right in that. They've actually ate all the crackers out of the box. Look, Andy, it's all gone. Dude, pull me a bottle of wine out. Let's have a look. What we got? I've seen this before in another house. You know the little chef guy? I've seen it somewhere. I think we was too late to the party, dude. They're all empty. We were too late to the party. What we got here? Oh, this one's full, man. Taylor's first estate. Oh. South Australian Chardonnay. Woo! Bit of Chardonnay. I'll put you in my basket. Cool. It's 
really weird because these are like catering kitchen bits. Oh. I can't believe that. Something's literally been in here chewing everything away. It's like we're crawling and climbing over people's life. Literally scattered all over the floors. And it's touching me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. When I find out, like, when I worry about stuff like this, because it makes me think, and Mark, we, we're this literal play in our mind now for weeks because we would think, why were the kids, what happened here, you know? If the parents did something wrong, like them poor children had to be rushed out of here, everything was packed. And I'm pretty sure you did have to just leave in a rush. Yeah, everything's left, dude. Literally everything. So what are you saying? They definitely rushed out of here. Uh, yeah, uh, I've make... read something there. And it is, like, as Mark just pointed there, there's literally SMA, baby stuff. And you can see, that again, the rats have been chewing at the bottom. But if this is baby stuff, they had a child here, babies, kids. There's a little boppet on the floor. So I said, these, it's all games and children's stuff everywhere. Were these kids just literally forced out of here? You know, like, imagine getting the children up at the night. I don't want to breathe it, Mark, I'm going to move. God, there was a lot of people in here. God. Right, read it out. Well, who's, who's the names? What's the names? Paul Francis. Oh, I see Francis' membership card Paul, for bingo. Stephen, Alex, Ryan, Rory and Isabella. Ah, so Rory, sorry, and it's Is Isabella then. I said, uh... That's mad, right? Oh, yeah. So, dude, them kids were for the Christmas cards, for the kids. Yeah, so there must have been a big family living in there. Where are they now? Why is this house left like this? Why haven't someone taken it? Remember why you had to leave. I'm just literally. Oh, it's so nice. As I said, back here again, we just come back to just look at the quality of these figures and stuff. And you can feel just by filling the handles and that the quality on this. And the big stairway. I'm loving the uh, the finish around the top. Loving the old wallpaper. It's got kind of a. I mean, stand here for a second. Just imagine that. The TV on the fires roaring away. Christmas the children chair. are playing around. You know, maybe the older ones, as I said, sat in this room here on the couch watching the TV. It's yeah, literally got be, everything. The have got to be the ones that lived in this Yeah. And some people may disagree, but for me, for the TVs to be here, for the clothing literally to be here, like this is stuff that they need. So you go upstairs, dude. Baby. So it just makes me wonder, like, even if the parents did something, how do you explain to your children, we need to go? Mummy, daddy, you know, where's, I want to take my stuff. No, we need to go, go. You know, and seeing your mum or your dad rushing, packing clothing in bags, just to get out is so quick. What is going on? The cobwebs literally hanging out. So Mark's took me straight in the bathroom. Bad, the mould building up the doors, guys. <coughs> Not bad, then. And the ceiling there, above the toilet, so it's actually falling in. <laughs> that must have been one hell of a poo, man, to take the ceiling down. <laughs> no, on a serious note. And look, stuff like this, look, the little bear waiting for its like little girl or the, the son or whatever to come back, pick him up. I've always heard, my nan was an Irish traveller from an Irish travelling family. She moved to England in the 60s. And she always said, you never hang your horse show upside down because the luck falls out. Well, I've just picked this one up because it was laying down. So this family's luck fell out. So we just come up the top of the stairs, as I said, the bathroom behind me. I'm literally going to go right. Left, get me left and right, wrong. See what I mean? Everything's pulled out of the cupboards. You know, like grab something quick. It stinks as well. Yes. Guys, if we had a smellogram on this, people who love smells would love this. <laughs> Look at that. It's a shame that's I not know. Like, Look, everything's in. raked. Look, the suitcases are out, bro. Yeah. You see what I mean? They tried packing up quick. 
Something's gone down in this house, man. And I think it's more serious than we think. This is Sophie's room, dude. And Sophie definitely loved her uh, <laughs> her idols, didn't she? Yeah. Who we got on there, bro? Name me a few. Come on, give me a few. <laughs> I'm trying to see who I see. Zac Efron, there we go. <laughs> Who's... Oh, what's his name again? Why have I forgot his name? Uh, Pharrell Williams. Yeah, that's it. Pharrell Williams. Oh, oh, what's his name? He's out of the... Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Dude, I'm losing it. I'm really good with films now, you know that. Ryan Reynolds. Really like Ryan Reynolds. Check the new movie out. I think it's great. Have you seen it where he uh, goes to the computer game? No. We've literally got... Uh, what coin is this? Oh, this is a Turkish coin. Maybe it was... A, could have been like a Turkish family here, no? Why it's got a Mediterranean look, dude. Might be Yeah. Loving this wardrobe. Look at this. Little princess baller, ballerinas. What is? <coughs> so the angel, pink devil wink. Bonkers, 10 year old. So this is Sophie obviously really young. She's the youngest one. You have to be fun. You have to be fun. You have to have fun. You have to be cool. You have to have a good personality. Bro, that's me and you. <laughs> this is Sophie's book. So yeah, look, this is all the next. So is this next catalogue, dude? Is this what you was on about? No, the what? Oh, okay, yeah. What was about next catalogue? Any anyway, weird look, man? She's so got here, like the adults, mum, nat, dad, kids, Abby, step, money. Went to the park, child, 6.50 per child. Oh, she wrote this out. Oh, the party invo. So she's actually worked out what it's going to cost to arrange her little party. Cool. Just it's, I've seen some nice Christmas. Size this bed, dude. In here. Yeah, look at these. It's a oh, it's on the ladder one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, do you know what? My, my dad would love to have this. That is so cool. Dude, don't you feel like, though, all the decorations wasn't put out, so it makes me feel like they were getting ready for Christmas, and they were literally out by Christmas, gone. Yeah, but then a huge bed like this. It's horrible to see that all this is pretty much going to end up in a skip. So we're starting to think Sophie was more of a teenager, and the 10 year old thing is when she was obviously younger. I mean, look at this for a teenager, bro. He's in her own suite. Yeah. Dude, my bathroom's smaller than this. For a whole household, and it's literally leaking. Look at that. The ivory's going through the window. It stinks in here as well. The smell is unbearable, man. Loving the Hello Kitty case as well. What is going on? What you found, dude? What you found? It's just weird. Like, there's adult stuff in here, but as well as kid stuff. Well, look at this. What size is this? So that's a guy's shirt, bro. There's a lot of bag stuff in there. This is weird, but then there's kids' clothes there again. Yeah. What's going on? And then these boxes are like size 10. Market. Obviously, we don't mess about with anything. We have a look at stuff, but try and put everything back to how it was. It's another room here, and then every room, I'm getting that ransacked feel. But when he explains the front door, like the other front door, there's bags of clothing everywhere. Like, so this makes me say that it's not ransacked. It's a, it's a family that we're trying to get out quick. What was going on? But I'm starting to think the kids were a lot older. I mean, there's an adult woman's dress-up thing there. Look at that. This is the room upstairs with the balcony. Imagine sitting here on a summer's day, door wide open. Look at that. And your view just going right across the field. You can see how far we walked up. There's a goalpost right down there. Bro, size so that TV. Huh? Look how old that is. 
Never seen one like that. Oh, it's sticky, dude. Look at that. There's your outfit there, bro. <laughs> she's, we're thinking she's a kinky woman, dude. Little dress up. Even her stuff's in the garden. <laughs> wow. Every room has its own ensuite. Look at the size of this. That oh, guys, the state of that uh, toilet. <sighs> the smell in here. Even know what these are. The label's literally pretty much worn out. Some medication. They're still running water, I can't believe it. it still yeah. Bro, where are the wet bandits? <laughs> and where the sticky bandits? <laughs> 2008 calendar there on the wall. But it's so. I mean, like, even the towel's still there, a mildew on it. It's literally like, maybe she was in a shower, or he was in a shower, and it was like, we need to get out, you know? What? A lot of wigs, isn't there? <laughs> Is there? I can't believe how well open this place is as well. It's completely like, anyone can literally just walk in. Really shocked with this. Just can't get over it. No, no. Oh, look, that's one of them fairy. You know the like the drape things that go over the beds. There's some clothing there in the cupboards. It is. You know, great. Maybe grabbed their favourite clothes, a small bag, and just went. But dude, you imagine leaving your home right now and there's nothing you can come back for. You know, like what? How does that feel? Obviously, there's been a lot of disasters around the world where families have had yeah, to up and leave stuff. What situation you're in at the time, doesn't it? Oh, what's the bear called from Toy Story 4? I'm not sure. He smells of strawberries, dude. <laughs> you must have seen Toy Story. Yeah. So, so smack your bum if you ain't. I mean, look, I don't want to like point it down, but there's a visa thing there, and just seeing it, it says about debt owing and stuff. Man, you imagine how incredible this house can be put back to. But I think the fate of this house is going to be pulled down. Oh, wow. Mate, how to stay these rooms? How do you think there's one thing that's weird? What's missing in every bedroom? Like, a quite an obvious thing, a big thing, in every room. What, chest of drawers? <laughs> well, you could say that, but... I'm saying mattresses. No, there was one on the other one. Oh, was there? The room we just come out of. Was it really? Yes, yeah, oh, okay. floor. Well, look, as we can see, this is Alexandra and Ryan's room. Angry Birds, remember that? Yeah. I mean, look, this is this is stuff they want to keep. That is Alexander uh, Ryan's water, obviously swimming award. Yeah, but they were in a bad situation. Like the autumn disco. Yeah, uh, and this disco was. Like they did tenth of October. Obviously, whatever year that was. Yeah, What'd you make of this? Well, What'd you make of that? Soldiers. Hey. You can't again. <laughs> wow, guys, look. Mark, this says to me, dude, that they actually come into serious financial difficulties. The roof has been patched with yeah, newspaper. Say, and sellotape. And you can see it's been done, look. Just a bit of plaster falling off. They've put a bit of newspaper. So I mean, you can have everything at one point. A huge place like this. This is how the other half live. Yeah. We don't get this, but you know what? what? What's money when you can't, you know, you miss that payment, you lose everything that quick. Yeah. It makes me feel like the kids were very close. They wanted their beds up next to each other. You know, like two little brothers. You know, they want to play, play in their room. Little stickers everywhere. You know, this, can't, this ain't healthy for them as well. The ceiling literally down like this. I hate it when you just see like toys just sitting on the windowsill and oh, 
breaks my heart. Because a lot of these kids, they didn't, you know, they didn't ask for the, their parents to be evicted and stuff. You see that? Or where are they now? No, I was saying, where are the parents now and stuff, you know? Do they not see these videos on YouTube and think that is our home there? We can't go back. I think something I see said they've gone back to their own country. Right, okay, so they've just literally fled. Yeah. I mean, look at this, dude. So how many... Wait, there's one, two... There's loads, remember. Three, four... There's loads of names on there. Five, six, seven, eight... I mean, there's at least eight people sleeping in all the doubles. Well, and I don't get it. Why is all the girls... Yeah, even their car, the guys. Their stuff. family car is literally still sat out there. I mean, look, there's all makeup and then girls' shoes, and then there's men's stuff, and there's kids' stuff. That's really good. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a shower in the cupboard? Yeah. <laughs> a shower in the cupboard. And a toilet? Oh, dude, wouldn't I, I'd hate to see an animal being left in there. Yeah, it's like they've rushed to get their animal out quick. Or maybe it was left, dude, and it's just escaped. Maybe. That telephone, last call it made, who did it ring? I really just can't get over it, man. I'm not going to go through it, but let's just drink. Oh, what is that? It's like fruit in the bottle. You see, there's a kiddie's room now as well, where the kids have drawn everywhere. So they've drawn their, like, parents' home there. Six, six people. Is that about right on the cards? Yeah, six or seven. Yeah, look, six little stick men. What's this one? It's like it's outside. It's like a horror film. Second. Oh, there's a little girl's shoe left there. The children need bear. Bro, what would you do with this house? Put it back. There's another That's Turkish right. coin there. I'm starting to feel like it was definitely like a Turkish family. Another room. I mean, that upstairs window's completely missing. Again, this is how this family was living. You know, they couldn't afford a lot. It doesn't look like they get stuff done. Looks like they come here filthy rich. Spent a load of money on stuff. Hence, the gorgeous climbing frame, the kids' goalpost. I know the, the ball literally just yeah, stopped. I was say, should we put that back up? Is it worth it, dude? Door's wide open. What's it going to stop? Maybe actually, yeah. Uh, could stop birds flying in, getting trapped in. Yeah, put the board up, guys. Stop the birds. Not people. You can see that the mold on the floor. Oh, it's hair, dude. No, bro. There's all like woman's hair on the floor. You know, like they've cut their hair maybe to change the style of them. You know, quick, like, change your identity sort of look. And they've tried flushing stuff down the toilet. See, dude, you never know what this could be involved. This could be in drug, even drugs, anything. Crime. Not the family we're getting up to. That's what I'm saying, like, back on the story again. Another weird thing I've just noticed about this house as well. And now you're probably going to be like, serious? Did you make that up? This is an assum it's assumption. I'm just, I'm kind of just going with this. Dude, I've noticed two things in this room. What? One, the windows broke. That was reboarded up. There's screws in the window frame there. Second, why the hell was the person screwed or locked in here? There's a door there, and then there's this fixed door. Why? On the outside, so they can't get out. Bro, I don't want to say it. How do you know this place wasn't involved in human trafficking? Mm. Why were they screwed in the door, bro? The door's there. The door. They've literally had this screwed up and locked. 
or they could have been renting a room to a tenant. What do you think? It's weird, man. It's just bloody weird. This is, this is weird. You know, why is the basement door locked? I mean, it's clearly a used room. Everything's here. The makeup, the hair, they've cut hair. There's human hair on the floor. Since you've been cut off the head. Maybe this place isn't as nice as we thought it was. Bro, is that a secret ball? What is that? Check that out, man. You know what? I've been over here. I didn't even notice that. And it's you that normally notices everything. What is that about, dude? Is that in there? Oh, is that a smell in there? Oh, mate, what's the stink? <coughs> oh, I'm going to open the bed. Should be double up. Dude, there's another door. What is that about? Oh, it's it's not this stuff, is it? Dude, can you go in? I'm double back. I'm scared to go in here. <laughs> oh. oh, it's just all the water faking that. Okay, well, somebody's that. definitely died in there, bro. Let's get out of it. Shut the door. Oh, the smell. There's nothing in there, is there? Like the B-O-D-Y, I don't want to say it. No. Oh, shut that door. Let's get out of here. Another thing I want to say, mention, guys. The door that swings around here, why is there fist marks in it? No, they're like, yeah! And they've screwed a the board up, I don't know. It's can't get over it, I don't know what's going on. Oh. Just can't get over, mate, how much. When you feel like how much stuff is in here. What's that in here? Hello? Just explorers. Might be a rat in the kitchen, what are you going to do? There's a rat in my kitchen, what am I going to do? There's definitely something just banged up there, I tapped. So this is the main front door, dude. Have a little storeroom. Yeah, as I said, they can see the family car out there. This is absolutely bonkers. I'm going to use that. <laughs> and there's another downstairs toilet. It's definitely the throne, bro. Look, it's got the uh, the throne round it. Oh, my mum and dad have got that. My mum and dad have literally got the same mannequin there holding the candle. Uh, the little light. Can't get over this place, dude. I literally can't get over it. I think we should head outside anyway. We're going to try and get as much as we can of this place. Just a last look around. Absolutely crazy. I wonder what that noise was. Dude, did you just shut that door on me? Are you messing with me, dude? What? Did you just shut that door on me? What was in there? I've literally just walked through there, got in the kitchen, turned around, this door had shut. Mm. Bro, we're not even paranormal investigators, and everything weird keeps happening to us in the videos. <laughs> it's getting down, dirty. Oh, it's really getting in my throat now, though. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, guys. I think we're literally done here. We're going to head outside anyway. Get some back shots. See the rest of this house. Yeah, let's do it. You ready? Yes. That's right. This is like the room there. Where it looked like they were keeping people. I don't know. Maybe I feel like I'm over exaggerating, but that is definitely weird. That room. Don't get over that room. No other room in the house it's got locks. Yeah, it might have been just the, the older thing. Underwear. 
If you put a normal door on it, dude. There's kids, like dolls, just sitting outside. Bicycle helmet. A little car, look. No child's gonna play with it anymore. Let's put it on the windows. Sir. This would have been the original driveway gates. It's literally so overgrown, man. You can't even see a lamp. I mean, what is all that? It's all this stuff. This is mad. Something's definitely happened here, dude. Oh. It's beautiful, like the trees, where the conifers have all gone over. The little football goal here. There's a ball still sitting in the goal there, you can see. Waiting for that child or, or the adult to come down here and take a shot at the goal. <sighs> that was definitely weird. Can't get over that. And the other thing, we don't even know what's in these chained up. They've got chains around the front of them, these buildings. You know, what, what was put in these? Very weird looking as well. You'd think you'd have like a nice shed at the bottom of the garden. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of pots here as well, don't you feel like? No way. Huh? Good garden, isn't it? Bro, do you think something was going down here to do with drugs, man? There's a lot of pots, there's a lot of pipes. I mean, how much do you grow? Huh? <laughs> I'm joking, dude. Oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know to get your plant pots. Just kidding, guys. No, we did it! We didn't get arrested, didn't get caught. We're out, finished, done. Step. Left the house exactly how we found it. If not, even better, because we picked stuff up and put it on sides and tied it up a bit. Oh! No, no, my nose is running the marathon. Right? So guys, we're completely away from the house now. But what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. What did I do wrong? What do you want us to change? Do you want Mark to have a shower next time? Who knows? But I just want to say a massive thank I don't you. What we done wrong? What? I opened the fridge, didn't I? I keep telling him, tell him guys, put in the comments below, Mark, stop opening the did fridge. Didn't it look uh, like something multiplying in there? It right. did. Guys and girls, let us know what you think. Let us know your verdict, what you think about the house. What, why? Why is it abandoned? Let me know what you think. But yeah, love to you all. Thank you so, so much for all the channel membership, all the Patreons. We love every one of you. Um, if there's anyone else you think that likes the video, please share it with your friends and family. But yeah, it's out from me guys. Out from Mark. Out from Mark. Social links all in the description as well. So check us out on other social media platforms. It's free to subscribe. Come on guys. Love you loads. Take care. See you soon.